So it's about 7.30 here in Pattaya, and we're going, we're out at Bali High Pier. We're going out on a sea cruise, it's, and it's a buffet dinner, which means all the food you can eat. It also means all the beer you can drink and a live show, all while at sea. So we're gonna go down and buy our tickets and go out and see what it's all about. Let's go. Hey folks, and welcome back to Patia. We are taking a cruise out of Patia tonight. There's the boat we're, go we're going on. Look, I'll show you their Facebook page. This is what I saw, so you see the same thing that I saw. And I'll tell you all about this before we get on board tonight. There is some things to know and some little nuances. But first, before we jump into it, just wanted to thank everybody for the, the, the pouring out of, of prayers and well wishes and get well soons. Everything from the last episode to V, she really, she really, wow, she was blown away by all that. I think it gave her a little bit of a boost. I think it gave her a little bit of a shot in the arm she needed. So thanks everybody for that. But let's jump into this evening. We made a booking earlier today and I told V to pay for it as well, which she never got around to doing, but we were able to pay right here. The fair, oh, by the way, it's called All-Star, All Patia All-Star Cruise. I'll show you, the, show you the boat. It's not a big giant boat, but I would, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a, 80, 80 to 100 feet long in my best guess and it looks like it's three decks well two decks and then the, the roof if you count that as a deck and it costs 1200 baht per person so a little over about 30 dollars ish and for that you get a buffet dinner you get a cruise at sea and supposed to be all the beer you can drink and a show, they, they have a, a dancing show. I don't know what it is, we'll see what it is. But it's like a night entertainment. I think it lasts about two hours. There's two sailings. There's a 7.30 p.m., which is the one we're going to be on. It's seven now, we've got a, we're a little early. Uh, but there's a 7.30 p.m. and then I believe there's a 10 p.m. And it's every night of the week, apparently. So, we'll give it a try, we'll give it a try. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's the kind of boat that holds a ton of people. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what the what the restaurant looks like, what the buffet is offering, what the show is. We'll see about that. All oh, you can drink beer. I don't think uh, V nor I will drink much anyway. But uh, it's there, and we'll check it out nonetheless. We came down Valley High Pier all the way almost to the end, and then we turned left, and there's a whole nother arm, if you will, of Valley High Pier. I'll show you on a, like a satellite map of where we are on Valley High. I've never been to this part of Valley High Pier before. When I've gone to Kolan, it's always up there by the terminal and uh, even the squid boats and stuff we've gone on, uh, same thing. It's never down this far. Uh, we were out there previously this year. Uh, video was very well received. People liked it. Anyway, this looks like they're doing well. That was a dinner cruise, no show, no buffet, just order a la carte and then catch squid. There'll be no squid catching or squid fishing tonight. More of an eloquent evening. Now, I told a buddy about this, and first thing he told me is, hey, that sounds like a, a good place to take a date. So maybe this is a, a date night here in Patia. Show your date a good time. It's not the same old thing. <laughs> the same old Soy Bacow and LK Metro Walking Street gets old. They've done that a million times. This might be a, a different venue to, to take a prospective date. So anyway, we'll see. We'll determine all that, or at least you will. As soon as we can board. with a little bit of a cabaret show going on, ushered to our table full of drinks and ice and Pepsi water and a bottle of beer here. I've already poured myself one. It's not that big in here. It looks like maybe about 100 people. They're still coming in over here. Me and I were the first two on board. We'll go look at the buffet next as soon as they uh, roll that out. They don't fool me, they got these curtains hiding the buffet, but I'll, I'll try to get a sneak peek at the buffet. There's passengers still coming in, so 
I don't think they're gonna unveil the buffet until everybody's seated and we shove off. But meanwhile, we'll go up to the upper deck. Well, that's right. We've got some time to look around. We've got to wait for all the passengers to make their way on board. The first thing that greets us up here on the second deck, I guess, is a washroom, male and female, and in the middle is like a private party banquet room. I envision, I guess, if you had your own group of, say, 20, 30 people, you could maybe just have that room, have the same buffet and experience, but in your own private room. So uh, everybody will make their way on board here. The upstairs, the, the, the rooftop deck, is fitted out more like a lounge. Very nice. A lot of places to sit down. Nice breeze up here. And then there's this thing over here, this big... I uh, thought it looked like a big bird's nest or something, a big pillow in the middle. I guess after you fill your stuff yourself with a buffet, you come up here and relax in the bird's nest. But let's go back downstairs. I think we're missing out. So it didn't take long. All the passengers made their way aboard, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw the pursers peeling back the, the curtains to expose and unveil the buffet. V and I were right there on scene, though. We wanted to try to get some footage of the of the buffet before it was attacked by the mob, so let's go. So they actually unveiled the buffet before we even left the, the dock. Thought that was a little bit odd, but hey, everybody attacked it. Of course, I just pushed and shoved my way right in. No, I waited with everybody else. But um, it, there was some aggressive behavior to get to the buffet. We'll have some of the um, some of the yellow. Surprisingly enough, it was. I would say it, I wouldn't really call it an Indian buffet, but there was plenty of Indian food on it. It's a mix. It was a mix of different things, but Indian curries, naan bread, the rice. There was tom yum. There was plenty of fruit. There was salad. I think the buffet, in and of itself, it's a, about a 350 baht a person buffet for the food, just for the food. You got to just about double that when you bring beer into the equation. So you're looking at about 700 baht a person for all you can eat food, all you can drink beer, and a fair market value on land. You bring that out to sea here in a whole different venue and add a show in. I see where they charge the 1200. It's not bad. Plus, it's something different. I counted about 50, best I could, about 50 or 60 passengers on board. And it's not full. Like I said, I think it holds probably more like 100. And like the table V and I are at, it seats six people. It's just, just, just the two of us. There's plenty of room for more people, but it's plenty for atmosphere as well. It seems like as people, as people finish up with the buffet, they, they come up here to the upper deck where you can really get a good view of the Patia skyline. The other, the other vessels that are out here, whether they be squid boats or, I don't know what some of them are. Is it with the green lights? I guess it's fair to assume that's also a squid boat. And plenty, of, plenty of opportunity to get selfies up here. It's very cool in the cabin where the main cabin, where the, where the buffet is served, where you're seated. Very cool in there. V brought a shawl. She was a little bit cold. But uh, just uh, dress accordingly. It, it, they got the air condition kind of cranked in there. But of course, up here on the deck, it's actually a little steamy, but there is a breeze because we're underway. I don't think we're really going anywhere. It looks like we're just sailing up the coast of Patia here. We're not going far out to sea, I wouldn't imagine. It's only a two-hour deal. Looks like some of the folks have even brought their buffet up here to the top deck to enjoy it. <laughs> Spring rolls. There was all, all sorts there. All sorts on the buffet. But you could loosely call it an Indian food buffet, which I didn't have a problem with. I saw a couple of the guys, a couple of the passengers. The passengers, it's a, it's a mix. Uh, there's, there's a good amount of Indian passengers. We met four Chinese girls that don't speak any Thai. They only speak Chinese. There's Thais. There's a whole couple great big parties of Thais. I don't know that there's any other uh, Western foreigners here. I think I'm the only one. But it's, it's a mix. It's a mix of people. But I, th I, think, uh, I think one of the Indian guys was looking at me strange because I was eating with my left hand. I, think that's, I don't think that's done there. You're supposed to eat with your right hand. <laughs> 
had the fork in the right hand and shoveling the non bread in with my left, I didn't care. Willful abandonment of any kind of tradition or culture, I just wanted to shove it in. <laughs> They put on quite a show. Now, when it was time for the main show to start, much to our dismay, they, they brought out a big no photography sign. And I kind of understood that once the show got underway. It wasn't exactly like the kind of show you'd see on LK Metro or anything like that, but it did have its moments and there were let's, uh, maybe a couple uniform malfunctions. So uh, all is well. After, immediately after the show though, they, they brought the models back out, beautiful, all of them. And for a hundred baht, you could, get your, you could get your photo taken with them or whatever. So I thought that was nice. Yeah, I spent a couple hundred baht. <laughs> I think we're on our way back in now. I, you know, the sh for the show, the buffet, the drink, the food, the drink, the show, I, and just the evening and the experience and being out here, I think it's worth it. Many different ways you can spend your evenings here in Patia. This is just one, but maybe one that's a little bit different. So I guess after the show, we still had about 45 minutes before arriving back to port. So uh, that was all just uh, taken up with a lot of frivolity and good times. So the last 30 minutes were like a dance party in here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Almost almost worth the price of admission itself. True story though, we're pour, pulling into the dock. I gotta get my helmet, hold on. <laughs> True story, we're pulling into the dock. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. And, like the ship's almost at the dock. And I see a guy, he gets a fresh plate and goes up to the buffet. <laughs> And fills up another plate to wolf down before we get in. <laughs> anyway, good night. Good night. So not why? So not why? Okay. V says we had fun. We're going home. So we did thoroughly enjoy the evening, and you know I thought the price was fair, twelve hundred baht a person. Now, uh, let, let, let me let me tell you about that though. From what I understand, that's the price if you make a booking. If you don't make a booking, if you just turn up out here and say, uh, eh, 7 o'clock, I want to sail, I hear it's 1,800 baht. So I'm not 100% sure on that. That's what V told me. So you might want to book ahead. You know, there's there's plenty of things to do here in Patia. Planning ahead always helps. We'll do something else next time. But for this episode, got to leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>